This year's Hollywood Director Award honoree is Tom Hooper. And here to help us honor him, I want you to welcome a woman we all know. She's a fantastic mom to a beautiful two and a half year old daughter. She is an Academy Award winner. She is kind hearted and kind and immensely talented. Would you please welcome Halle Berry. Thank you very much. Um, I um, have never had the pleasure of working with Tom Hooper. However, I've talked to him tonight, and um, I hope that someday I get the chance to do that because I'm a huge fan of his work. And when I got asked to be here tonight to present him with this award, it was no question, no doubt in my mind that I would be here. So, as an actor though, I have had the privilege of working with some of the most talented and the most creative people in the world, but hardly anyone I have known has had the influence on my work or my life as the incredible men and women that have been my directors over the years. From Spike Lee, who cast me in my very first movie, Jungle Fever, to Tony Scott, to my dear sweet friend Warren Beatty, to Brian Singer, Martha Coolidge, Jeffrey Sachs, and of course, Mark Forrester. I've gained the experience and knowledge for which I am extremely grateful and very proud from knowing all of those wonderful artists. A few years ago, I was thrilled when my friend Mark Forrester was named Director of the Year by the Hollywood Film Festival. He joined Oliver Stone, Sam Mendes, um, Michael Mann, all these filmmakers have an incredible body of work, along with more recent winners like Clint Eastwood and Kathleen Bigelow. And tonight, I am now pleased, along with the Hollywood Film Festival, to recognize the body of work of another artist whose most recent achievement is a film inspired by true story of, the Britain, of, of Britain's King George VI, who overcame a speech impediment with the help of a dedicated yet unconventional therapist at the time when the British people needed a leader's voice. He directed critically acclaimed film, The Damned United, as well as Red Dust, starring Hilary Swank, and Longford, starring Jim Broadband, as well as John Adams for HBO. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2010 Hollywood Director Award recipient is Tom Hooper. It is my great pleasure to give you tonight, Tom, the Hollywood Director Award. Everybody, Tom Hooper. Well, thank you, Hallie. Um, hearing Hallie just talk about the previous recipients of this award makes me um, truly very, very honored. Uh, and I'd like to thank um, the Hollywood Awards um, for recognizing me here today. Um, first of all, I'd like to congratulate uh, Helena Bonham Carter uh, for her Best Supporting Actress Award. Um, it's true what she said tonight, that she never actually said yes to the King's speech. Um, Helena uh, was busy playing a kind of anti-queen mother, um, a witch in Harry Potter, uh, and, and when I pursued her, she was worried about doing both. But I hope the fact that she's been honored as uh, best supporting actress for the King's speech uh, might mean she can finally say yes to me uh, later tonight. Um, I'm also gonna admit, as this is a very private room, uh, that I, as a teenager, had a picture of Helena Bonham Carter on my uh, wall for Room with a View. Um, but, I can, but I also have to confess that the uh, picture of Helena was dwarfed by the Panavision Platinum camera uh, that was above her in this advert for Panavision uh, growing up. Um, uh, so I ha I, I've long dreamed of working for Helena, with, with Helena since I was a, uh, a kid, so I'm really pleased to see her on tonight. It's, it's funny standing at this microphone because the hero of my film, King George VI, would be utterly terrified um, to stand at this microphone. And the, the sad irony is if he was here tonight, uh, he would be able to take little pleasure um, in, in, in this extraordinary honor. Um, and I'm incredibly grateful to Colin Firth for so brilliantly capturing the fear of living with a stammer um, in every frame of my, of, of my film. Um, Colin is ferociously clever, ferociously talented, um, a wonderful collaborator. 
um, and it was really one of the great experiences of my life um, to work with him. It's, um, the, however, Colin is also one of the great uh, raconteurs and anecdote tellers of all the actors I've ever worked with. In fact, I had to impose on Colin a two-minute anecdote rule during rehearsal, strict. And in the shoot, a 30-second anecdote rule, uh, equally strict. Uh, and so the irony is not lost on me that, um, uh, of all people, Colin plays so brilliantly the man who cannot speak. Um, I would also like to, to thank Jeffrey for so brilliantly playing the character who uh, gets Colin through his fear of public speaking. Um, and most of all, I'd like to thank the writer, David Seidler. David was a little boy um, during the Second World War, and David used to listen to King George VI on the radio and think, well, if the King of England can get over a stammer, uh, maybe there's hope for me. So David's childhood hero, his inspiration, his guiding light was King George VI, and the realization of this movie is the realization of a, of a childhood dream um, for David. Uh, and and uh, many of our lives reached back into the Second World War. My father lost his father in the war, and as a result was sent to boarding school from the age of five. And one of the um, themes of my childhood was my Australian mother uh, unpacking some of the effects of that upbringing. Um, and so really this film is a very personal film for me because it, it tells of an Australian unpacking an English king, and it's just there's a thing or, or two I know about that from my childhood. Um, I'd also like to acknowledge my producers, particularly Ian Canning, who's here tonight for his wonderful work on the movie, uh, for my entire um, wonderful cast and crew, uh, the Weinstein Company, particularly Harvey Weinstein, who came in so early in his support of the film. Um, as it's such a personal movie, winning this award means uh, a great deal, um, and I'm incredibly grateful um, to the Hollywood Awards. Um, it's a, a great honor, thank you very much. Thank you.